Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I hope you guys are doing good today. Yes, honey, I am feeling good. I've been sipping on my tea. Today, I'm sipping on the apple spice. It just became available a few days ago. I see a lot of y'all have been purchasing it already. Right now, I'm on my tea diet, okay? Plus, I'm doing intermittent fasting because I'm trying to get back in shape. I've been working out and just been sipping tea and just, you know, cutting down on eating and stuff like that. And I'm feeling good, honey. That's how good I'm feeling. My stomach is flat. My metabolism is down. This tea's giving me energy. So thank you guys once again to everybody supporting. Yes, I'm gonna shout out my tea in every video, okay? Because that's what a business person does, okay? So if you bought some tea for me recently, please, please, please do not forget to review me on Amazon. It's going to help. I'm one of the few black tea owners, okay? Especially on Amazon. So please look out for your girl. Please hit me up with five stars. Please give me a good review if you really enjoy the tea and if it's helping you out. If you love the flavors, a quick little review will definitely help me on Amazon. So please, please, please don't forget to review my tea, okay? Thank you. So anyways, I'm here to spill some tea, honey, okay? Now, I don't know what's going on, okay? I'm trying to figure this shit out, okay? I don't know if this is the summer where the baby mamas are going crazy, and it's not even the first or second baby mamas. It's the chicks that are like baby mama number five through ten, okay? You know, I had to drag Amina Caterpillar the other day because her ass caught herself being in her feelings because, you know, the, the guy who knocked her up and got her pregnant with his ninth and tenth child, you know, shocker, Dirty Feet Pete doesn't want to be a father, and she thought for some reason her womb would change that, okay? Well, now we have Amina 2.0. So if you guys don't know, Fetty Wap's fifth baby mama, her name is Torquoise Mommy. Now, I don't know. She might be the fifth or fourth, honey. I can't keep up, okay? He has a bunch of damn children, okay? He has 17, 38 kids, honey, and it's hard for me to keep track of all these damn kids and all these damn baby mamas, okay? But this baby mama, her name is Torquoise Mommy, and she is really upset. She's in her feelings. She's mad because Fetty Wap is out here doing him, and he's not coming to spend time with her daughter, okay? So she took to social media the other day to blast Fetty Wap and let the whole world know that he ain't shit as a daddy okay i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what she had to say go ahead and check this out so she says i'm no longer going to beg a nigga to be a dad to do all the things that dad is supposed to do i'm doing everything i'm supposed to do as a mother and i will pray for karma at fetty wop 1738 doesn't do anything for lauren one never there physically two Never there emotionally. Three, doesn't help out financially. Tell the world how oh, you wasn't there for Lauren's birth because you said you caught a gun charge in wretched ass Florida on the way there. But that was a lie at Fetty Wap 1738. 1738. Tell the world how you didn't wish her a Merry Christmas or buy her a gift or a Happy Thanksgiving or Happy Easter at Fetty Wap 1738. You didn't even care to meet her until she was almost four months old. And when you did finally meet her, you was there for 20 minutes. Then you went and rode bikes and that was it. Nigga paid me 5K a month to keep me quiet so Ad Alexis Sky wouldn't find out about my pregnancy and that was hush money and not child support. Tell the world how you ain't even know it was Lauren's birthday until I posted it and you didn't see her until two weeks later. It's a lot worse than what I've said. I could have went in. I'm just not going to dog a nigga like I could. Poor Turquoise Mommy. I don't even care enough about this girl to find out her real name, so we just gonna call it Turquoise Mommy, okay? She's getting a rude awakening, okay? So when she posted that and that went viral on Instagram, when I tell you folks was dragging her, telling her, bitch, what do you expect? The man has 17, 38 damn kids, okay? 17, 38. And so she decided to go onto social media and explain further why she was blasting her baby daddy, okay? She pulled out the violin, honey. Looked like some tears was gonna drop. I mean, she was really going in. Y'all go ahead and check out this video that she posted on Instagram. Check this out and we'll come back with the rest of my commentary. My dad died when I was six months old. Do you know how much that me up emotionally? That me up for years. I don't think I got over it until I got into my 20s. 
But y'all do not understand. It's not about the money. I make money. I'm a stripper. It's not always about the money. Yes, it's nice that you would financially do something for your child, but it's not about the money. I don't want my daughter to be messed up in the head. Do y'all not understand that? Do you guys not understand what it feels like for a little girl to not have a dad? That messes them up. How do you think little girls turn into strippers? Because they don't have no dad. How do you think little girls always pick the wrong dude to marry, the wrong nigga, stay in abusive relationships? that because they don't have a dad figure in their life it's not about the money you stupid idiots like y'all do not understand y'all swear y'all know everything. i love my baby father like don't ever get that shit twisted i'm just not i'm not a petty person like I, at all there's a difference like i don't i don't feel like he's mine 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 i'm not gonna slash every bitch throat like nah like i have two eyes i keep shit real in life i know what the fuck goes on like so nah yeah i'm gonna love my baby father and i'm gonna just Love him in my own special way. You can have a baby by a nigga and, and still love your baby father and still be cool with a bitch. Like, at the end of the day, like, he ain't with none of us. Let's be a thousand shit. Like, he ain't with fucking none of us. The fuck out of here. So it's not like, it's not like one bitch is supposed to be feeling specialer than the other bitch. <laughs> My daughter's name is still Lauren Maxwell. That's still her dad. I still fucked him. I was still I I could fuck that nigga right now. We still could get popping and fucking. I'm gonna be real, like that's still our child together. And bitch, you talking about you wasn't fucking with him when um bitch you don't know me. You don't know what I I've been fucking with that nigga mad long. Bitch, talking about some uh. I wasn't fucking with him when he was fucking with that bitch. I went fucking with him all these motherfucking years. Relax. Okay? Oh, relax. Cause bitch, you don't know about this pussy timeline. That nigga be lying to you. That nigga don't tell you no fucking truth. That nigga be lying to you. And, um, you know, like, you don't know my pussy timeline. So then they like, bitch, we probably, listen, while your son and your motherfucking woman, I'm probably fucking that nigga right now. Fat. <laughs> i can't even keep a straight face when it comes to this foolishness okay so now that's not bad enough after the shade room posted you know her rants and her raves fetty wops other two baby mamas they decide to get into and go back and forth in the shade room comment section okay so masika is out here rocking yellow hair just like alexis sky and Alexis Sky basically threw shade at Masika and was like, you know, saying, uh uh, boo, this, you know, you can't do what it is. I do, okay? That yellow hair don't look good on you, Masika. So this is what she wrote. And then Masika clapped back and basically told this bitch to go get a DNA test because she, along with Fetty Wap, they do not believe that Alexis Sky's baby is his child. Fetty Wap is demanding a DNA test. Alexis Sky saying that that's her baby daddy. Honey, this entire situation is a hot damn petty mess. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Listen, y'all keep asking me who my baby daddy is. It's not that I'm a motherfucking nerd. My baby daddy is Fetty. Okay? That answers your question? Fuck. Damn, this tea's good. All right, so y'all just seen them go back and forth. So a lot of people are asking, where is Fetty Wap, okay? Where or oh, where is Sir come -a -Lot? That's what the hell I call him. His name ain't Fetty Wap no more. He is Sir come -a -Lot, okay? This man has a baby every other damn year, okay? Well, I found Fetty Wap, and Fetty Wap is where he's always at. He's in the club living his best life. Honey, getting it in, dancing to Takashi 6 9 drinking him a drink, and these damn baby mamas won't just let a nigga be, okay? Fetty Wap is trying to do him and live his damn best life. Okay, y'all go ahead and check out this video, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Let's go. 
All right, so you guys just saw that video of Fetty Wap, a.k.a. Sir Come A Lot, okay? Now, I understand what this girl's saying. I understand her frustration. There's nothing more frustrating than having a child and the father is choosing not to be a part of that child's life, okay? And I understand that little girls need their father and things like that. I get what she's saying, but honey, you're the wrong messenger, okay? First and foremost, you are not his first baby's mother. You're not even the second. You're about the fourth or fifth, okay? You got with the man who everybody knows. Like I've been telling y'all, if anybody else comes up pregnant by Fetty Wap, you deserve whatever comes to your ass, okay? You got with a man with 17, 38 damn kids. 17, 38. Okay, he is one man and he can only be stretched so far, okay? When you have so many children by so many different women in different households, it is going to be physically impossible for him to be in every household to spend quality time with each and every child, okay? This is why as people, especially women, you have to be very mindful of who you have children with, okay? If you choose to be the fifth or sixth baby's mother, I don't want to hear shit because at the end of the day, you're upset about the situation that what you put yourself and your daughter in this situation. And then even in the video, she has no remorse. She's bragging about going back and getting some more dick. So she doesn't care. She's looking for attention. She knew what time it was when she got with him. She knew she was the fifth baby mama. She knew he had other kids and he wasn't there for them. I don't feel bad for none of these chicks. This goes for Masika. This goes for Alexis Sky because they knew what time it was. Fetty Wap is not with any of these women. He's out here spreading his seed like damn Johnny Appleseed, okay? Getting a chick pregnant in every damn county in America. It seems like that's his end game, okay? Because like I said, every other year he got a baby on the damn way. And these chicks keep lining up to keep having raw sex with him, get pregnant by him, and then they'll bear his seed and then complain months later that he's not there for that child. Remember a few months ago I was doing a video on Alexis Sky. She was crying tattooed tears about how Fetty Wap hasn't seen the baby. Masika Kalasia, a year ago, she was crying about how Fetty Wap wasn't there for his daughter. Okay, so this woman knew what time it was and she chose to get with Fetty Wap. She chose to bring a child into the world and now she's complaining. If you want somebody to be there for your child, then pick a better father. Pick somebody who does not have a shitty ass track record. I can see this was his first child. You know, he changed up. She didn't know. But this man has a track record of having multiple children by multiple women and then not being there, okay? Fetty Wap is not trying to settle down. He's a musician. He's out here living his best life. He's out here doing him. He's saying that I can hold on to, you know what I'm saying? And I don't mean for the long run. I'm just talking about until I die, you know what I mean? Cause you feel me, that's what it's all about now. You know what I mean? It's not about relationships no more. Nobody wants to be in what the fuck are those? Nobody wants that anymore. Alright? Alright? So let the thought out, okay? Stop acting like you're unthoughtful, okay? Alright? Okay? It's the summertime. You have sundresses with no panties, baby. We know what you're doing out here. Huh? When the ass is wobbling from left to right, right to left, up and down, we know what's going on. You're trying to be You know what? Listen, just let the thought out, baby. Just let the thought out, baby. All right? Because the niggas like me is waiting. <laughs> we're, we're waiting. We have the check. <laughs> <laughs> is it fair no it's not but at the end of the day this is what these females signed up for so i suggest whoever's fucking with freddie wap now in 2018 be careful stay on birth control and please don't end up being the sixth seventh or eighth baby mama okay he doesn't need any more damn children he needs a damn vasectomy that's what the hell he damn needs okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation honey once again concerning freddie wap's other baby mama blasting him for not being there for his child do you guys feel sorry for turquoise mommy or do you feel like you know what you knew what time it was you put yourself and your child in that situation that's on you so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.